took me about a week and a half to get over the shock as to what I saw at Sandy Hook. Board members, I contacted the superintendent two days after the incident. I offered and extended any help they might need and because I train people on incident command. This is what I do for a living. And I was offering my help. I sent an email. I have sent emails to each one of you board members. I've contacted the superintendent's office, the director of the facility. They jumped, not one phone call back from the district. Not one FOI request that you responded to. You had a man sitting here in the Freedom of Information Act giving you a lesson on what is, what is documents that should be released under public records. And yes, to this day, you have refused to answer phone calls and you have refused to answer my FOI request. And you're a public education. Do you not teach character education? You use the word honesty in your presentation. Where's the honesty in this room? No matter how tragic that event might have been, people in America deserve the truth. Because guess what? There isn't a school district in America that wants another Sandy Hook happening in their district, not private or parochial. And ladies and gentlemen, the questions I ask are not offensive to any parent who lost a child that day. They're not offensive to the Connecticut State Police. They're not offensive to anyone. They're such simple questions. Why no trauma helicopters? Why would you not let paramedics, board members, these are your children, and you wouldn't let paramedics and EMTs into the building? You got 27 children declared dead within eight minutes? Who does this? Who is so great at that job? And I'll just leave you with that. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the board member. You are the leaders of this community. You are the superintendent. Respond. You have a great secretary. But guess what? I sense in her voice she's afraid. She's afraid to even call me back. That should not be happening in any school district. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here tonight not to disrupt the meeting. We want answers. We want truth. Part of character education that we teach our children, you are modeling responsibility, caring, and I'll quit. Thank you for letting her know. But ladies and gentlemen, character education is about caring, responsibility, honesty. And guess what? You're teaching your children. Why don't you do it the same way and respond? And I thank you for your time.